Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chris Maloney back with you for another edition of CWN Predicts Impact Wrestling 2021's Sacrifice taking place live tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. on Fight as well as Impact Plus. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. Nine big matches on hand. Uh, obviously, the main event means quite a bit tonight. Uh, but uh, like I've said in the past, if you are uh, looking to watch the event for free, you can sign up for 30 day trials through Impact Plus as well as Fight and be able to watch this for free. I just got to make sure that you cancel before the end of the 30 days is up, but it's entirely free for you. Free 99, as they used to say, but I think it's 9.99 on Fight. Uh, but like I said, you can sign up for free for 30 days. So it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Um, but it is March the 13th, which means sacrifice taking place live tonight, like it said, uh, 8 o'clock p.m., taking place Skyway Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, didn't see anything about a pre-show, kickoff show, anything like that. So it looks like uh, just the nine matches taking place. Um, they might have something on YouTube uh, beforehand, uh, you know, just like a little half an hour uh, video just to, to, to hype up, to prep, whatever the case may be. Didn't see anything so far, but uh, either way, nine matches, uh, you know, a three-hour pay-per-view at least. Uh, see this one going to 1130 at night. So you're looking probably a good three, three and a half hours, uh, you know, for the nine matches there taking place. But uh, as always, I'm going to do predictions and then uh, we'll see how well I do uh, come tomorrow when I do the uh, CWN recap show for Sacrifice 2021. Uh, but like I said, Skyway Studios, Nashville, Tennessee tonight. Uh, match number one, Tennille Dashwood, Caleb with the K taking on Havoc and Nevea. I would say this is a mixed tag match or an intergender match. But uh, uh, when you look at the... Um, the strength and size of Havoc and Nevaeh. Uh, Caleb with a K seems to be a little bit outnumbered here, but like I said, uh, Tennille Ashwood, Caleb with a K taking on Havoc and Nevaeh. Um, uh, Tennille has been kind of winning on a winning streak uh, recently, but um, I mean, they have the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championships. Uh, you know, Havoc and Nevaeh, to me, need to stay strong unless they're going to break up the team. If they break up the team, uh, then it's a completely different story. But um, when you've just come out with those Tag Team Championships, uh, you know, uh, you've got a strong team in Havoc and Nevaeh. They work well together. They look good together. I wouldn't break them up, even though Nevaeh has had, uh, you know, uh, a recent history, so to speak, of, of losing and not getting the job done. Um, I'd hate to see these two break up because I'm actually a fan of the tag team themselves. Uh, but, uh, you know, to the, uh, to Neil Dashwood, what do you do? Do you, do you have her win the match with Caleb uh, to become a contender for, you know, the, the women's, the, the knockout championship there? Because that is an avenue they really haven't gone down. Uh, they've kind of left her, you know, kind of backstage doing segments, doing promos, um, all about her, you know, but uh, she is a gifted wrestler. So, it's interesting. I know it's the first match of the night, but um, I may actually say this. I'm going to say Tennille Dashwood, Caleb with a K, win this one. And I'm going to say this is a, a continuance of Tennille's winning streak, so to speak. And uh, Tennille finally gets a push. And I think maybe by summer we see her with that Impact Knockouts Championship. Uh, you know, especially with the fact they've got AEW as well as New Japan Pro Wrestling, uh, you know, uh, in the mix. So it's, uh, you know, Tennille would be a strong champ. So I, I think this is the way to do it. So uh, uh, keep that winning streak alive, so to speak. So Tennille Dash with Caleb with a K is my official prediction to win there. Uh, match number two of the night, Decay, Crazy Steve. Uh, and Black Taurus uh, with Rosemary in their corner, taking on Reno Scum, Adam Thornstone, Adam Thornstow. I always thought it was Thornstone, but they've got it listed uh, Thornstow and Luster, Luster the Legend. So um, I'm going to say, you know, being biased Canadian, obviously, uh, Crazy Steve and Black Taurus, I'm going to say to win this, I think they've got a chance uh, being in uh, decayed uh, together. Uh, to go on to, uh, you know, uh, fight for the Impact World Tag Team Championships uh, down the road. And uh, have Rosemary in the corner obviously means something as well. Uh, no reason at all for Reno's coming to pick up the win here. So Decay, Crazy Steve, Black Taurus uh, to win this one here. Uh, match number three of the night, Violent by Design. VD, uh, B, uh, that's hard to say. VBD, that is Diener and Joe Doring with Eric Young in their corner. Uh, taking on James Storm and Chris Saban with Jake Something in their corner. Um, this is interesting because... We saw Diener lose. We saw, you know, cousin Jake go into Jake something. Um, but 
James Storm, Chris Saban, hell of a team. I tell you that, uh, you know, obviously they, they had the greatness with regards to AMW as well as beer money. Saban, obviously, with the Motor City Machine Guns, but they're well, working well together. And uh, but what do you do? You got Violent by Design. All this, all, you know, you had obviously Eric Young being PO'd at the fact that, uh, you know, Diener had lost, uh, you know, basically put him, uh, you know, away for a week, seemingly on TV anyways. And then Diener came out and obviously, uh, you know, it's uh, um, Eric Young just, you know, proving the fact that he is the leader. And if you screw up, you're going to get punished. But um, do we see Diener turn yet? I don't think so. Do we see Jake something turn? Um, that's interesting because he could be the one to cost them the match. And we're talking about James Storm and Chris Saban. So two big time impact players. Um Violent by design, you know, they create the group. They're a strong heel faction. I don't want to see anything happen to them yet. I think Jake's something. I think it's only a matter of time before he ends up with that group. I don't think it's tonight. I think Diener, we see a mean streak out of him tonight because of the fact of, you know, he basically screwed up in Eric Young's eyes. Um, I don't see any reason at all for James Storm and Chris Saban to win, especially considering the fact they're not really no longer in that hunt for the tag titles. And this match here was basically it come out of the blue this past Tuesday. So I'm going to say this violent by design to win. I'm going to say Diener is the one to pick up the victory here uh, to give the group a strong showing. And uh, like I said, it's uh, only a matter of time, I think, before Diener turns back to be in a face or Jake something becomes a heel. So, uh, but uh, violent by design for the win in this one here. Uh, match number four of the night, hold a harmless match. I was like, what the heck was that? And luckily Scott Demore explained it. Basically no rules, anything goes. Uh, Eddie Edwards taking on Brian Myers. Um, you know, Matt Cardona, uh, doesn't seem to be part of this, um, you know, uh, with regards to the match itself. Um, I'm going to say, you know, it's, I think it's, when I talk about heel turns or face turns, I think it's only a matter of time before Cardona and Myers end up hooking up again, um, and, you know, as a tag team. But Eddie Edwards, he's pretty much done it all as far as the impact wrestling goes. Um, you know, Sammy Callahan is uh, on to a different venture as far as Trey Miguel goes. And uh, with, with that being said, what do you do? It's basically a grudge match where anything goes. Do you have Cardona get involved, though? Because basically we saw a match where Cardona disqualified Myers because he knew his tricks. So do we see the formation of Myers and Cardona tonight? It would be cool. Does Cardona accidentally cost Eddie Edwards the match? Uh, that would be something as well. Any way you look at it, I'm going to say Brian Myers for the win. I'm going to say Eddie Edwards does not need this uh, as far as a victory goes in this match. So I'm going to say Brian Myers to uh, be victorious in this one here. Then we get to our championship matches. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, make it six if you go title for title. But uh, anyways, uh, first match of the night for uh, Impact uh, X Division Championship match, TJP versus Ace Austin. Um, huge fan of TJP. Huge fan of Ace Austin. Huge fan of Chris Bay. I uh, love their match on Impact Wrestling this past Tuesday night. Uh, when it comes down to these two here, um, TJP, how do you continue the gimmick? You know, he was kind of part of that match where Madman Fulton chased him off this past Tuesday. And the next thing you know, uh, you know, Ace Austin ends up losing the match to Chris Bay. Um, Chris Bay, do you put him against TJP or do you have Ace Austin win this one? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Ace Austin and new. Um, I'm very rarely wrong when it comes to impact wrestling predictions. And as far as Ace Austin goes, for whatever reason, uh, that tournament that they had not too long ago, I picked him to win, even picked every single bracket, end up going almost perfect for my predictions that night. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, pat on my back, so to speak. But uh, I'm going to say Ace Austin to win the X Division Championship here. And uh, I'd love to see a feud between him and Chris Bay for that title. So Ace Austin and new is my prediction there. Uh, match number six tonight Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championship match, Fire and Flava. Uh, Kira Hogan and Tasha Steele taking on Jordan Grace and Jazz. It's interesting with Jazz because um, I listened to an interview with Tommy Dreamer with regards to uh, what is that show, Busted Open. And uh, Jazz was kind of happy being retired. And basically, you know, Dreamer kind of put that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, that wrestling oomph into her again. And uh, so to speak, and, and she's been looking good on Impact Wrestling. Uh, you know, obviously teaming and feuding with Jordan Grace has been kind of cool as well. Uh, Fire and Flava have been strong. But do they keep the titles on them? And then what do you do with Jordan Grace and Jazz? Or do you know? Or do you put the titles on Jordan Grace and Jazz and have Fire and Flava end up uh, becoming heel heel chasers, so to speak? Um, it's interesting because it's. Um, I mean, you almost want to give it to Jazz just because she came back and she's been doing well. But at the same time, you kind of want to keep this champ strong with Fire Fire and Flava. Um, and if that's the case, if Fire and Flava win, do you break up Jordan Grace and Jazz and have them feud? 
But you know what? Saying that, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Jordan Grace and Jazz uh, to win to become new Impact uh, Knockouts Tag Team Champions. I'm going to say they they pulled the trigger on this. I wanted to see them do with Tommy Dreamer and that championship when he was 50 years old, uh, you know, against uh, obviously Rich Swan, which didn't happen. But I think tonight's the night for Jazz to win the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championship with Jordan Grace. I think it'd be, uh, you know, a huge uh, victory for Jordan Grace and one of those things she's talking about, uh, you know, 10, 20 years from now. So I'm going to say Jordan Grace and Jazz to win the, uh, the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championships there. Match number seven in the night, Impact World Tag Team Championship match. The Good Brothers, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson of Impact Wrestling, AEW, seemingly wherever the heck they want to go lately, uh, taking on Finn Juice, which is David Finley and Juice Robinson. And this is interesting here because of the new connection uh, with New Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling has been advertising this, uh, not on, on not only on the website, but as far as the social media as well goes. Uh, it would be cool to see Finn Juice win those titles. But because of what's going on in AEW right now, they need uh, the Good Brothers to stay strong. Uh, they look good alongside Kenny Omega with regards to him being champ and them being champs. So as much as I'd love to see Finn Juice win, tonight's not the night. So the Good Brothers, uh, Doc Gallows, Carl Carl Anderson to retain uh, and still uh, match number eight in the Impact Knockouts Championship match. Deanna Perrazzo taking on ODB. Uh, this is a case too where all of a sudden ODB comes back. She was happy doing her food truck stuff. She got that itch, uh, that itch again, so to speak. And then next thing you know, Impact Wrestling hires her uh, to come back. Uh, she is one of, uh, you know, somewhat the original knockouts. If you go back and look at the history of ODB as far as Impact Wrestling goes, TNA Wrestling goes, there is a lot of history there. Uh, Cody Diener being one of those guys uh, who has history with her. Eric Young having history with her, you know what I mean? But she's always played that same kind of brash character, and she's she's fun-loving, you know what I mean? Uh, and she's kind of like old school, where she just kind of does whatever the heck she wants to. But Diana Perrazzo is young. Uh, she was hungry when she uh, arrived in Impact Wrestling. Obviously, the you know the title switch happened, and then she gained it back. But she's been looking strong. She carries herself like a champion. And especially with Taya Valkyrie no longer part of Impact Wrestling, you need that leader. So as much as I think ODB uh, could be champ, tonight is not the night. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure, uh, you know, if if she's going to go in that uh, direction as far as the singles run goes. Uh, as far as ODB goes, I can see her being a tag team again with somebody. Uh, ODB and Jazz, if, if that was the case, you know, if, if Jordan Grayson and Jazz lose tonight, uh, would be cool to see as well. But uh, I'm going to see Deanna Perrazzo to retain, to stay champ. And, uh, you know, especially with AEW and the feud that's coming up, uh, I think Deanna Peraza going into an AEW match, say against somebody like Hikaru Shida, would be cool as well, uh, you know, or against NWA chance Serena Deeb. Uh, but whatever the case may be, I'm loving the uh, the forbidden door being kicked open, uh, basically as Tony Khan had put it. So I'm going to say Deanna Perrazzo for the win and to retain. And then match number nine, the one that uh, everybody's kind of been talking about since Tuesday, it got me excited. I tell you this, the wrestling this past week between Impact Wrestling and the shows on Wednesday night had me com uh, completely tremendously goosebumps and excited uh, to see the direction wrestling's going right now. So World Championship Unification match announced by Scott Demore. Winner to face AEW World Champion Kenny Omega at Impact Wrestling Rebellion 2021. This is title for title. Rich Swan putting up the Impact World Championship against Moose, who is the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, Demore came out, cut a promo, said he's sick and tired of having two champions. There's only one way to do it. Let's uh, title for title tonight. And uh, you know the winner comes out as the unified champion. And then, if that wasn't a big enough uh, announcement as well, he, you know, basically announced, Callis announced, it's basically uh, Kenny Omega putting his AEW World Championship on the line against the Impact World Champion, a unified world champion at Rebellion. So do you take uh, Rich Swan, who, if you think about it, very similar style to Kenny Omega, uh, or do you put it on Moose, who has been part of Impact Wrestling for a long while now, has carried himself like a champion, um, if you think about the old school moose who used to come out with the old school music and just do the, the you know, the moose chant, so to speak, he has come a long way since then. Uh, you remember his promo with EC3, which wasn't too long ago there in Impact Wrestling, uh, you know, and basically moose kind of got more serious at that point. He's a big guy. He can work very gifted in the ring. But do you put him in the ring with Kenny Omega as a hardcore wrestling fan? To me, it's kind of like an old school kind of, hey, put Tommy Dreamer in the main event, uh, give moose his his shot you know against aew world champion but to me because it's an impact pay-per-view coming up in april rebellion um 
as a fan, what do I want to see more? I want to see Rich Swan as a unified world champion going up against Kenny Omega title versus title. To me, that sells pay-per-view buy rates even more so than say moose and it's not enough it's no offense to moose but when i think of styles what two styles i want to see more of it's like koda abushi and kenny omega you know it's like kazuchika okada and kenny omega tetsuya naedo and kenny omega those were the matches that inspired me uh you know uh back in the day and so when i think about who is going to go against uh you know AEW world champion kenny omega at rebellion to me it's rich one and so in saying that it has to be done tonight i'm not sure how they're going to play the finish out hopefully it's clean i don't want to see any kind of interference i mean obviously the good brothers are are you know uh, are, are on the show so you know the affiliation that they have with uh you know kenny omega it'd be interesting to see if we see tony khan tonight it's going to be interesting to see if don Callis is there tonight uh but uh, I i'm going to say this i'm going to say Rich one to become unified champion against Moose tonight to go on to face Kenny Omega, uh, you know, for the title at Rebellion. And I can easily see Rich one uh, show up on AEW's, uh, you know, uh, uh, Dynamite shows and everything else. So um, it's going to be interesting. I tell you that, but I'm looking forward to the nine matches taking place tonight. Like I said, eight o'clock tonight, fight as well as Impact Plus. Uh, get it for free. Sign up for a 30 day trial, like I said, through Impact Plus or Fight. Just remember to cancel before the end of the 30 days and you won't be charged at all. But you can see all nine matches for free. So to recap, uh, Tennille Dashwood and Caleb Decay to win. I'm going to say Decay, Crazy Steve, Black Taurus with Rosemary to win. Violent by Design, Diener and Joe Doring with Eric Young to win. I'm going to say Brian Myers to win and uh, gets uh, Eddie Edwards and, no and a hold harmless match. Uh, interesting uh, way to put uh, a spin on that one. Uh, Ace Austin to become new X Division champion against TJP. I'm going to say, what did I say? I said Jordan Grace and Jazz uh, to become new Impact Knock Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Uh, the Good Brothers to retain against uh, Finn Juice. Deanna Perrazzo to retain against ODB. And then Rich One to become uni unified uh, world champion there for Impact Wrestling. Go on to face Kenny Omega at Rebellion. So, guys, I'm looking forward to this. 8 o'clock tonight. And uh, recap show. Will take pay, uh, yeah, take place tomorrow, 3 p.m. premiere. Uh, I've got a birthday thing I've got to go to, so it won't be live. Uh, so I'll have to do the show uh, sometime early tomorrow morning. Uh, but uh, I have given up <laughs> uh, for the time being on trying to do a show after the uh, pay-per-view because I am usually tired as well as this one. It's probably going to go about three and a half hours. Uh, so um I might do a WrestleMania weekend, but uh, definitely not uh, not tonight. So you'll not see a recap show tonight. I'll be uh, premiering tomorrow, YouTube, as well as Facebook. And if you watched the premiere today, thank you very much. Hit the like, subscribe button, and uh, check me out at Chris Maloney CWN as far as my social media goes. But guys, enjoy the show tonight. It's going to be nice. Um, a good, probably, like I said, three and a half hours for the nine matches, as well as that last match to decide who faces Kenny Omega there. But uh, it's going to be enjoyable. So I'll be back tomorrow for the premiere of CWN, uh, CWN Recap, uh, Impact uh, Wrestling Sacrifice 2021 uh, to premiere live tomorrow. Not live tomorrow, but to premiere tomorrow on Facebook as well as YouTube. And I'll be back Wednesday, St. Patty's Day, for episode number 31 of CWN Weekly. So I'll be exciting as well. So guys, enjoy the show tonight. Take care, and I'll talk to again, everybody again sometime soon.